small building was erected in 1912 by Henry Sutter on the site of an old wooden harness shop. The first occupant was Young Hardware Store from 1912 to 1917, and Henry Sutter had an office on the second floor in 1917. G. A. Tash and Company was an undertaker and made caskets here until 1921 when a fire heavily damaged the building. In 1924, there were a set of large double doors on the second level to allow the storage of an airplane, although no record of an actual complete airplane was found. In 1926, Bicycle Ben had a trucking company. The Oak Harbor Glass Company occupied the second floor in 1928 to July of 1930. And the Oak Harbor Public Library used the second floor in 1944 to 1945. In August of 1930, the building was leased by the village until it was bought in February of 1935. The fire station moved in on the first floor in 1930, then expanded to the brick addition in 1975. And in 1993 and 94, the building was expanded and remodeled into the building you see today. Portage Fire Company was formed with 40 members strong in September of 1872. A used hand engine was purchased, which attained a 236-foot stream with 30 men at the break. In 1880, equipment included one hand engine, one host cart, one hook and ladder, one fire bell, and 22 members. In 1883, a steamer was purchased from the Mansfield Machine Works. And in 1928, a massive American LaFrance Type 91 engine, 500 ga gallons per minute, was purchased. In August of 1930, the department moved to its current location. The earliest documented major fire in the department's history was in August of 1894. One side of a downtown block and half of another was destroyed. The Portage Fire District was formed in November of 1983 to carry on the long and proud tradition of firefighting in Oak Harbor and Salem Township. Here you see the fire station bell. It was used until 1923 when an electrical fire siren was acquired. It last rang in the mid-1930s and is currently housed in the present fire station. Seen here is a picture that depicts the 1931 Oak Harbor Fire Department. So next time you're out and about, make sure you stop by the local History and Museum Center located at the Oak Harbor Library, which is open on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And on Thursdays, we have a local historian on site. And make sure you check back for another Feature Friday.